Hi, welcome back to my channel. I've been really busy and then I did not have time to like pick up the camera and do a video. I have so much respect on every woman, every mother who is like really doing good YouTube videos. I mean, it takes a lot of time, effort and energy out of you. I have so much respect for you. And so in today's video, I hope uh, to share some working mom tips with you. I hope this will be useful. So without delay, let's get into the video. What? Is it something? You want to? Um, so when I actually sit down to do the video, I received like a package from Just Goodness. Um, I will be opening that also at the same time. Uh, they have a sweet note. Um, open with a smile. I've got a little companion here, isn't it? What is that? Be careful. Um, this is the Dio Lightning this product. Is one <laughs> and um, it effectively this stops the growth of order, causing bacteria. This is to use in your underarms. And this is the, the Black Magic Charcoal Peel Off Mask. This is 100% natural. Yes, this is 100% natural. And then they have used um, uh, zero waste uh, in packaging as well. Uh, if you have time, just um, visit their site, Just Goodness. I will link it down in my description box this, these are, this video is not sponsored you guys I just received the goods so I thought to mention that as well um, so yes in uh, as I said in today's video I will be uh, sharing some tips for mo working moms actually these tips can be used by any mother Faith I'm talking to mama's friends yes um, so these tips will be useful to any of you, whether you are a working mom or not, whether you are a stay-at-home mom, whether you are any mom actually or mom-to-be. Uh, I hope these uh, tips will be useful. Be careful, there's a wire. Be careful. Okay. So, like I said, this is a life behind scenes um so finally i found time to sit down and uh, do this video this morning i was trying to uh, record this video but obviously with a two-year-old things can go a little different um, to what you planned bear with me and um, i finally came to my usual spot where i um, do my videos just thinking to maybe change the the location and the background but it did not work so Faith is um, playing outside and my dad is there he's uh, keeping eye on her now it's almost 4 30 and um, I wanted to like do and finish this video before um, it gets really dark yeah here we go me sitting again so before I actually move on to my video I would like to say I've been both stay-at-home mom and a working mom so I know the differences I've been there and I've experienced both if you are a stay-at-home mom you are very lucky trust me I'm I'm so proud of you I'm so happy for you and if you were being a working mom and after your delivery if you have been a stay-at-home mom if you feel uh, bad about it I mean don't feel bad about it it's all good and what you're doing is amazing you have sacrificed many things that i mean most of the people will not see it or understand it in a point of view of a mother but we do so be proud stay positive stay strong and if you are a working mom if you had to leave your child behind a daycare or behind somebody else's hand if you feel bad about it trust me guys i've been there i'm going through that it's all right so um, things will gradually change you will get used to it your children will get used to it and at the end of the day they will understand that they are what you are doing is for them and for their future so don't worry don't have guilt about it so these tips that I'm going to actually share with you today will help you whether you are a working mom or not they can you know uh, adopt these 
few tips and hacks that I'm going to share today. The tip number one is basically prepare yourself ahead, like, you know, plan it ahead. So don't wait until the last moment. Um, example, uh, if I would say, like if you have to go to work tomorrow, then the previous night, um, you know, you can get most of the things done. So your morning will be much more uh, comfortable and relaxed. Otherwise, you have to like run up and down and prepare um, uh, meals and prepare clothes and outfits and then daycare bags and all of that. So it will be a, definitely a juggle. So to avoid that, what you can do is prepare yourself a day ahead, pack their uh, snacks, decide on what you are sending them as snacks, make sure that you have enough groceries and snack items uh, in your house. If not, go do a little grocery shopping and then make sure all the clothes that you will be needed are washed, cleaned, ironed. Sometimes, you know, when you wake up in the morning, you realize maybe your nursery uniforms are not ready. So, you know, maybe socks are not ready. So like that. So make sure that every like tiny things are ready and uh, uh, pack your bag. Uh, if you are using your own vehicle, then make sure the car seat is um, set up and everything is packed inside so you're ready to go um, in the morning. So things like that. And then the smallest example that I could give you as a prepare yourself ahead is like this tip actually got I got from uh, Tara Henderson. She's a super mom on YouTube. Um, I love her channel. I love her content. If you have time, just go and check her channel too and um, so this tip was shared by her she was like always uh, be one step ahead of your child example like if your child is having a nap time and then if you know that she or he is going to wake up very soon what you can do is to avoid the tantrum and all that um, sleepy madness uh, maybe you can prepare their uh, activity like uh, an art and craft or maybe their snack their meals or whatever that they can actually attend to just after their nap is over in that way um, they will be engaged in something and um, the tra tantrum will not happen so yes that's a really good tip and right so my second tip is very simple slow it down just slow it down guys I mean you don't have to rush into anything um, like you know take a rest take some moment take like take time to breathe like sit and relax I know moms will be always on the run we are always on the run we, we, we always do something like maybe clean the kitchen maybe sweep the house maybe do a laundry then maybe um, get all the laundry from the washing machine and then we will run up and down do grocery and all of that but take it slow okay trust me take it slow otherwise we are going to go mad and then we get angry and then we get our mood swings and all of that so take it slow don't stress yourself maybe you know sit and listen to your favorite song that would help you it's like you know do a little bit of um, quality time for yourself so then you can be the best version of you for your children and for your family okay so that is the tip number two uh, moving on to the tip number three is ask for help maybe from your spouse maybe from your partner your family your parents your siblings or your friends ask for help whenever you need like if you want to go out of the house you know maybe go to the salon get your nails done get your hair done then ask somebody else to like take care of your child it's 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 not a crime to ask for help and the, the simple simplest thing would be if you are a working mom especially and if if both of you are working like husband and wife both of you are working I mean you're same on that so you it's okay for him to do dishes for one night it's okay for him to uh, prepare a dinner for one time it's all right especially in an Asian context we think it's like a crime to ask for help especially from men especially from the husband and the father of the child but it's nothing like that I do have a husband who helps me a lot with housework and everything else I mean whenever I ask him he he would do that we have that connection and we have built up that so it's okay I mean do it for the first time and then they will get used to it let them take the child 
to to the bath let them take uh, the nappy change let them do it so it's all right and um, it it really helps and and the other thing that i have to mention is like if you don't speak up nobody can read your mind nobody knows what's inside your head if you need help if you need assistance then ask for it um so yes that is my tip number 3 so tip number 4 is use a notepad use a journal like you know something that you can write down things like um example i have shared like a recent video of uh, get your things done with me uh, like basically to complete your to do list so if you like you can go back to my channel and watch that so make sure that you write down everything on a piece of paper it really helps you guys i mean it helps in a way for me to have a good sleep especially like before i go to bed i make sure that i know what i'm doing the next day as i wake up what are my priorities and all of that so i prioritize every um thing that i have to do in a small list and i make sure that i um complete them during the day i mean just take a piece of paper you don't have to have a fancy notebook or anything you don't have to spend thousands on uh, buying like a fancy notebook and you know getting it customized or anything like that just buy a simple book and then write down what you have to do and uh, it's really going to save a ton of time and of course it's going to uh, give you like a better managed day uh, at the end of the day so yes that is the tip number 4 so the tip number 5 is basically be flexible you know things will never go as planned trust me like today i was planning um, to like finish this video in the morning hours i got a little bit of makeup done i got ready i dressed up and i was thinking okay before i sit down for my office work i would do uh, a nice video because i have the morning light and all of that but <laughs> i was not able to do it i had ton of work from office i had to like sit in front of the computer for long hours and then again my child was a little of the track today she was like always wanting me to be with her and then um, no matter what no matter how many snacks i gave her no matter how many times i fed her she always will like you know come to my office room and then drag me out of it so yes so things can go um out of your schedule out of your like planned work so that's all right be flexible be positive and um, it's okay even if you are planning to like get all your laundry done by today if you still haven't got it done and it's almost 7:30 and you have to prepare your dinner that's all right so you can skip the laundry for the for that particular day it's okay to like pile up stuff so and um, like don't get over excited about things not being done and when you actually get over excited about things not being done what happens is i mean obviously we are women and we get little overwhelmed and we get sensitive about it and then we get angry and you know our mood swings and all of that and if you are if i am mad if i am in in a bad mood and then everybody else in the house will have a very bad mood trust me i've been there so more the mom is happy more the family and the child is happy the last tip that i'm going to share with you today is has to do it with mom guilt okay i'll put it this way now as i first have to go to work uh, leaving my child behind a daycare i felt bad i mean i was like why don't i have that opportunity where my child can be at home maybe with my parents or maybe with somebody who's closer to my family Uh, who is more closer to uh, i mean a blood relation who is more closer to my child or maybe have a personal maid who can uh, take care of my child why don't i have that privilege and i'm going to miss uh, most of my child's milestones and i'm going to miss uh, them and then somebody else going to witness that so i had that guilt but i mean i realized i'm i'm doing this i'm going to work uh, to earn a little bit of money so my child and my family can be in a better place so i'm i'm doing it for them so i mean you will have mom guilt like whether you are a stay at home mom or not i mean 
when I was a stay at home mom, I was thinking like I studied, I've you know done this and that. Why am I uh, stuck in home doing all cooking and laundry and all of that? So, I mean, mom girl can change, and this ha especially happens when you try to compare yourself with another another mother. So, I mean, every mother is different, every child is different, every environment is different. I mean, you are not having the same environment that your best friend is having. You are not having the same environment that your favorite YouTube mom is having. So, it's, it's nothing like that. And then you have to, like, cope up with your own environment. And, you know, you'll have to live with it. And then there, was, there will be an age where your children will understand that you are doing that particular activity for their, for their own good. So don't worry about it. Um, you know, when we become mature in, in motherhood, uh, we will learn how to uh, probably live with the mom guilt. It's okay to have a little bit of mom guilt. Uh, so yes, and above everything, above uh, all that tips and hacks and all of that, my final um, uh, thought to share would be always try to be positive. Whenever things go wrong, whenever things go bad and um, if you if your day is not as you plan it's okay be positive and try to see the good in everything and in that way you'll be happy and um, there was a, there's a, actually a small weakness in me that I sometimes because I'm like a really good planner and I try to like get certain things done within the day when I miss something I get a little overwhelmed and then Sometimes I will, you know, yell at my child or yell at my husband or thing like that. But uh, by by the age and by the practice I've learned, you know, it is not the best way to do it. So every day we will learn something new, and every day you will be that person that your child wants you to be. So um, your child will depend on you, no matter what. And uh, they are not looking for a perfect mother who has the perfect figure, whose um, hair is beautiful or who's done makeup and then dressed nicely. No, they, what they all want is affection and what they all want is your love. So trust me, you are doing your best. And if someone is watching this video and uh, think that you are not the best mom, no, you are. You are the best mom that your child could have. And God has given that opportunity so you are doing amazing and uh, trust me if you if somebody hasn't like given a compliment here I give a big compliment to all the moms out there and saying that you are doing amazing and don't worry about it so I hope this video is helpful I hope this uh, video is good for you and it I hope that it gave you some ideas to make your life a little better so until next time stay blessed Stay safe. Bye.